Today we are going to talk about Ramsey theory. It's a third year university level of math. After watching this video, you will understand something related to deep, magical, advanced mathematics. Sounds super fun, right? Well, here's the description of Ramsey theory by Theodor S. Moskin. Complete disorder is impossible. How to prove the existence of order in chaos? Let's start with pigeonhole principle, formed by Peter, Peter this guy. If n atoms are put into m containers with n greater than m, then at least one container must contain more than one atom. If we have nine pigeonholes and we want to put ten pigeons into this hole, no matter how we are going to arrange this, there has to be more than one pigeon in the pigeonhole. If we have two pigeonholes and five pigeons, it is promised that one pigeonhole has at least three pigeons. Yep, that's greater than three. Yep, still greater than three. That's three. Yep, see, I told you. That means if I have to force five atoms into any two given options, there must be one option containing at least three atoms inside. If we put this knowledge into one of the special case of Ramsey theory dealing with people's two different relationships within a group of six, let's say a love or hate relationship, what happens with one person's relationship with the other five people will be like this. At least three people are either this person's enemies or lovers. If we look at the graph, say the red line represents love interest, blue line represents mortal enemy. We pay special attention to person number one and make him as a fixed vertex, i.e. a locked point. If we color the five adjacent edges from the fixed vertex with either blue or red, there will always be at least three edges of the same color, either blue or red. If we take a closer look at the relationships among any other three people except person number one, for example, in this case, the relationship between person number 3 and person number 4, person number 4 and person number 5, person number 3 and person number 5. These are the corresponding edges of the fixed vertex, being colored either way. At least one monochromatic triangle is promised to be formed, meaning either case, the statement of at least three mutual lovers or three mutual enemies will be formed in a group of six people. If the two given relationships are lovers versus enemies. It can also be friends versus strangers, etc. etc. The mathematic fact is R33 equal to 6. R is a Ramsey number. 6 is the number of vertices required to form a complete graph. 33 represents blue K3 and red K3. K is a complete graph with all vertices connected. 6 is the smallest number where we are guaranteed to find a red K3 or a blue K3. And here is a really quick introduction of Frank Plumpton Ramsey. Ramsey's theory is named after him. I truly wish you guys have learned something wonderful today. I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Have a good one!